Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, September 19th. This is a report on the 1949 15, uh, 13 and a half foot Lyman Leader that uh, is receiving a new transom. Since we last reported, and while John's getting ready, let me catch you up on a few other items. Uh, everything is sanded that will be finished bright and is ready for leaching. We have released the tow rails on both gunnels so that we can better bleach and finish uh, them. Uh, here's a, a Dutchman that John has put together to fix a, a rot spot while saving 99% uh, of the gunnel. So, Take it away, John. Well, we took out these pieces like this right here that were rotted up in the upper corner. This one here had two holes for a light or a flagpole or something. And there's really no way to really fix that with this other piece that's chewed out here, which is caused by the breakage of this right here, which I am going to put a little piece inside of here to straighten this plywood piece back out here. This, this rail is kind of a little, got a little hook in it. So, what I did with this piece is I uh, made up a new one, as you can see, for this corner, but then I didn't really want to have uh, unmatching pieces from one side to the other, so I quickly made up this other piece for this side right here, which will be put in there. Um, I fixed a little bit of stuff right here. I have that stuff drying. Um, and the inside piece, I'm just going to put it in place right now. This piece right here, these pieces go in here as reinforcing um, and to double up the screws on the outside of the transom. But this is all dry rotted on the end here, all shot. So I made up a new piece. That's good and solid. I'll add reinforcement to the bolt that way. Um, these pieces here, I just went with the old pieces cleaned up, trying to save as much as we can of the old wood, but still trying to make it look as good as we can to match, think how things match up. So I also made a piece for this side over here. Okay, John, we want you to hold two more things at the same time. Okay, well, <laughs> that is for RJ. And, uh, and we made a new transom blank. It's a transom blank. The old transom had an extra wide, inch wide seam in it. So, so I cut out a new transom blank for it. And we're working on sanding things up and sealing them up and getting a finish on them so we can put varnish on the insides to put it back together. Because the inside of this needs to be varnished. And we'd like to have it all varnished. And, together when I actually stick the transom blank in. Now the uh, the seam is a, a good aggressive shiplap, right? Um, well, what I did with the seam is the old the old one only appeared to be like a quarter inch shiplap, so this one here I put half inch to five eighths shiplap in the, um, yep. So I do believe it's going to be a much better seal than the old transom. So uh, as soon as John is finished sanding, uh, we will bleach the outside of these boards and uh, then finish the inside of the transom plank. And RJ will continue having the maximum pleasure involved in scraping that all that gray paint out of the bilge so that we can do the bilge in proper uh, lime and sand tan. So that's where we are on the 1949 13 and a half foot Lyman Leader on Monday, September 19th. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.